Welcome back, folks. It's uh, Mysterious JG. Um, some advertising slogan, rather. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do any more videos tonight, but I've decided to do uh, at least one more. I don't know. I might go through till we get to the boss of this area, or I might not. You wouldn't even know the difference if I didn't say anything, because I don't think I'm posting any of this tonight anyway. That girl isn't here. Then let's go on. If we waste our time here, then those weird things. I was going to say that they would come. Let's make cum jokes. Sigh. He's throwing up. Okay, see, you could have escaped this way, but no. Once again, our leader is Pretty Princess Asami. And uh, this time, now the Gramps is leveled up to 8. Everybody on the bottom row is at level 8, as it turns out. So uh, we can bring uh, Pretty Princess Ayaka, Lord Tenchi, and Pretty Not Princess Ryoko. And at some point, I need to show you the level 8 super transformed attacks of Mochi, Re Washu, etc. I wonder if she'd be able to use her uh, attacks without transforming to kill stuff here. That's possible. No, they're too weak. But you got to see it, and it's her tossing a pan. It's really ridiculous. That's how it's done, Sasami! It's I'll protect you, Sasami, from being attacked on the side or something. I don't know why I love that sound so much. <laughs> I mean, don't anybody get the wrong idea. I don't find it sexy or anything. Like, you know, I'm not a ped pedophile. I just... <laughs> oh, Popeye, I've been attacked! <laughs> oh, Popeye. Alright, Sasami, it was a mistake for you to do anything other than wait to transform to Pretty Sammy. So let's get you out of here. Let's let your sister, the much more powerful Princess Ayaka, heal you up. According to most of the facts I read, uh, if you get them both to level 8, Pretty Princess Asami is way more useful than Pretty Princess Ayaka. Which I find to be kind of shame. I like Princess Ayaka and her, like, you know, whip wielding, screaming, threatening ways. But, um,. The game programmers decided to make Sasami an invincible warrior. But only after you've leveled her up. And really, she's not that useful, except that she can heal everybody. Like, she's the only one who can heal more than one character with a single move. Leap tall buildings in a single bound. I still don't know what Sasami's uh, protection does, but I would imagine it's some kind of defense booster. Ooh. Yeah, and all we gotta do is get S Sasami transformed, and that'll be a cakewalk. You just wait and see. Oh, Popeye. And you're not quite ready to attack yet. You suck. Yeah, you might as well heal her. She's not in any danger, but, you know, whatever. What else are we gonna do? We exist to rack up kills for Pretty Sammy. You know, there are... I mean, every one of this, every one of this battle could use a kill. And by that I mean that they could all do with being killed. Ha ha ha. Duel. Particularly Tenchi. Blew. 
Alright, transform into Pretty Sailor Senshi Tenshi. Bushido Senshi Seira Tenshi. Okay, now you can become slightly less unable to kill things. It's probably more useful as her untransformed state, which has all the healing attacks and stuff, but... What you gonna do, Jericho? And you're gonna do what you've been doing every turn, which is healing your sister. Pretty little sister. Or wicked little sister. What are the words of that disgusting song? Uh, I don't think you've seen the Monster Rush, have you, folks? Check this out, it's awesome. It's that monster from that one episode! So at least we can assume that the people who programmed this have actually seen the show. Just don't come down here and start trying to mess with Ayaka, buddy. It's a bad move. And one thing I probably have not pointed out yet, but is true, is that in this game, you get two little Kai crystals back per turn, unless you're transformed, in which case you don't get any back, which means that transforming is a... You know, you slowly run out of crystals. Which means that Sasami, if she kills every enemy on the map, is going to have to spend four turns getting into a transformed state again before she will be able to kill anything else. It's, you know, frustrating, but I guess the idea is that these transformed states are supposed to be so powerful, they don't want us abusing them. And the fact is, they're not really that much better than your regular form, but, you know, you can still see what they were going for, I suppose. Robots, stay away! Gut shot for Princess Aega. Here's a good idea, Tenji. Why don't you just stand around like you've been doing the whole battle? Not his fault, folks. Those are the instructions he's getting. <coughs> I mean, I should win this battle easily, but I'm prolonging it ridiculously by making uh, Sasami get all the kills. But, you know. You knew that was coming, folks. You can't act surprised. I'm gonna spin around and... It still didn't kill it in one hit. This is about as easy a screen, I think, as you're gonna get on this uh, spaceship area for, you know, leveling up purposes. She hasn't leveled up once yet. There's one more character to unlock. They start at level one. That one, when I get them, I'm, I may not be able to, to handle it, folks. Certainly I'll do most of the leveling up off screen if I do level her up, but I mean, there comes a point where I'm just like, how much time do you really want to spend out of your life playing this game? I like Tenchi, and you know, this game's fun, but maxing out every character, just because this is one of the few games where it's practical, doesn't necessarily mean it's a good use of your time. Uh, let's go with this one. Because if I run out of power, that one that I weakened but didn't kill, I might be able to kill with... Uh, she just does not have the firepower to kill anything in one hit. Alright, this is getting uh, boring. So let's... Uh, no, no. Must discipline myself to use only Sasami to kill. <laughs> yeah. 
be nice to be able to frame skip in this fight, actually. Okay, well, she's about to run out of uh, power and transform into normal wimpy mode. Yeah, but she can probably kill stuff in normal wimpy mode using her frying pan. Those guys that she's really damaged, so... Um, Yeah, there we go. And now, why don't you level up for good measure? No. And another enemy appears. Great. Fantastic. It's up. Oh, I don't kill Sasami. Oh, good. It didn't kill Sasami. Once again, we're going over 10 minutes, folks. That's the kind of crazy rules we're playing by tonight. You can't hurt me! Sorry. No, all kills will be hogged by Sasami. This is better work. Oh, son of a bitch! Or daughter of a bitch. That's right, Sasami. I've just insulted your mother. Yeah. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. So I'm going to start killing stuff that with people who aren't Sasami. Yeah, baby. That's how you kill them, Sasami. I was able to kill those, Tenji. Here we go, let's check out Smash. Hey! That would pretty much kill you, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, Sasami, hurry up and kill. Ryoko, sorry, you lost your chance. I lost patience with this while it was your turn, but then regained my patience, and you lost your chance to get to kill stuff. I guess that's the critical hit version of her throwing a frying pan attack. She throws for you. Yet another character whose attacks consist primarily of throwing other characters, whether they are on screen or not. Ayaka has her wooden blocks. Sasami has Ryooki. The whole Jirai royal family basically just abuses their servants and uses them as weapons. Okay, Sasami, if it's your turn, we can end this thing right now with just a little luck. As long as you don't get a really bad hit here, this should be it. And you got a really bad hit. Well, 12 is about what I can reliably expect. Oh, Sasami, you had better level up after all of this. Although this would be a painfully useless video. I'm coming for you, nigga! I'm coming for you! Now, level up, damn you. What awesome new powers has Sasami unlocked, folks? You'll have to wait till the next video to find out. Let's go. More scintillating Tenchi dialogue. Continue. Where do you want to go? We're going to go to Block B, folks, but we're going to do it in the next video. So, uh, look forward to that, folks. Look forward to my most commentary-free set of videos yet.